Hello, everybody. I have been doing different experiments to find out what it takes to build small size self-sustaining aquariums with guppies. I need to find plants and uh, creatures that can be used in uh, aquariums to maintain sustainability. Fast-growing Aladea plant and often reproducing pond snails that I have in all my aquariums seems to be uh, good candidates to check on for this purpose. The pond snails need the access to atmospheric air for oxygen to breathe. Well, let's check how Aladea plant and uh, pond snails perform in enclosed tank. I use a 2 liter glass jar with lid, add dechlorinated water, add 2 cuttings of Aladea, add 4 about half centimeter large pond snails, also I added a seashell and seed shrimp. Give snails a pinch of homemade fish food flakes, it should boost algae growth. Close the jar with a lid. I flip the jar to seal the lid with water. Yep, some water leaks out. The leak should stop once the pressure inside of the jar gets to the same level as it is outside. December 21st, 2019, all set. I put the jar on a window sill for direct sunlight to boost algae growth. December 25th, 2018. Snails crawl around. I don't see them laying eggs at all. Many LED leaves wilted. I forgot to mention duckweed that gets along with LED. January 2nd, 2019. Snails and uh, seed shrimp feed on the wilting LED. January 19, 2019. Eladea lost many leaves in the first couple of weeks. Now it looks stabilized. February 5, 2019. I see two active snails and uh, seed shrimp. This snail is dead. It didn't move in a couple days. February 8, 2019. This snail is alive. I see three young snails. All three are dead. Here's one. And here are two others. February 17, 2019. Only one alive baby snail remains in the tank. And there are seed shrimp dancing around everywhere. Two months long experiment is over. Have fun and happy aquariums!